What's up guys? In this new series, we are going to learn Vue.js, which is a very popular framework to create single page applications. We are going to create a to-do application where we can add to-dos and delete them. Also through this, we will get to understand the structure and how Vue.js works. Initially, I will use JS Fiddle to, initially I will be using JS Fiddle to do the coding and later on we will see how we can integrate Vue.js inside a Laravel application. So the first thing will be to get Vue.js into JS Fiddle. So if you go to their website, click on install. I will use the development version because you know it gives you a lot of warnings and has a debug mode. So it helps us basically during the development. So I'll copy this link. All right, I have added Vue.js and also let's add Bootstrap CSS so that we have some bit of theming for our application with that done the first thing which we need to do is create a div so we will call it container and let's give it an ID okay once that is done we can create a new view instance like this and to let view know about the DOM we have a property called EL which is element and we can say this property selector okay and now if any one of you have previously used angular js or maybe some other frameworks like backbone um, you should know what is this right so so if we run the app now oh my mistake I'll, we haven't done anything yet so let's say um, we have welcome and then we will put name okay so obviously when I run this application, it will just show welcome. It doesn't know how to get the name. So view has a property called data in it. I can add a queue, sorry, P and let's call it name similar to this. And you can see it's a very simple thing. This variable is coming into this placeholder like many front end frameworks we have two way binding so if you do something like input type equals text and then we have view model vm v sorry v model equals name and if we refresh we have the text box with the same thing and yeah i can change it to anything and um, the variable is getting changed so yeah that's done this is very basic but let's say we want to create our to do application right so let me quickly get some markup ready then let's say we'll have an list group all right what we can do is First of all get rid of this okay and we will create an array in our data object okay it's an empty object for demo purpose let's create one reference so we'll have ID title okay and yeah so once we do that in view we need to iterate through to do's right so we can do v4 equals so I will have the to do object here and I can do to do title okay with that done let's refresh and we have this one list item so yeah this is working um, one important thing is so if at any point of time you want to see what is the current you know data object if you have many uh, items what we can do is we can print something like dollar data okay and there is a filter on json i will explain what filter is but for now let's print that out and you can see that we have this data printed here in a json object right so yeah we can always keep a track of that so we have a list which we are able to iterate but now we will need to create 
a new to do item right so first thing will be you know it's a good practice to initialize our object so we know we will have an id and we will have a title they are empty for now and then let's quickly create a form which we will use to add the to do okay so i have the form ready as well but as you can see i haven't method mentioned any method or action uh, so how do we use view here we have something called v on submit let's just say i have a function called add new to do okay we know we are going to pass the new to do object so we have done that and let's just run problem is if i hit the save button it is refreshing the page right which is a problem ideally we would want to not do that so how do we do how we prevent that we can have so by the way uh, to add a method in Vue.js we have a method we can create a method object so I will have methods and in that I will have this function or we can do ES6 where we pass the new to do and yeah typically we would do prevent default or something like that but Vue.js gives us this tiny little helpful function so what we can do is say prevent and this will automatically means that on the submission of this form the prevent default is automatically triggered and the form will not submit the page will not refresh all right now let me open up the console first and yeah now when that's done let's console log new to do and run the app all right We hit test and we have an object and the title is still empty which is strange um, oh sorry so we have the form submit but we haven't mentioned the input field to be a model so let us quickly do that I'll just indent them a bit okay and yeah v model equals to do dot title okay so yeah that's working and run it again we hit add to do check the object now we should see the title okay so we what the else do we need we just do this dot to do's dot push new to do right first to do hit that and we are getting it but obviously we are not clearing it out um, two things which we will change is first of all I'll get rid of that pre tag okay and once we are done with the push we will say let me copy this so this dot new to do equals this which means we are again resetting it all right first to do and yeah we are done so you can see add one more and then we can start working so fine the basic thing is done now let's quickly add a delete method as well so we'll do to do it will again accept a to do and so we will need to change the markup a bit where is our list okay here it is say we have a button which is btn btn warning yeah and 
after the class we will have v on uh, well, how is it is v on click equals delete to do and we'll pass our to do okay let's quickly check if we are able to do that i will console whatever is coming yep and so we have an object and what is the title of that object it's checking so we are getting it now typically previously uh, you know uh, with the frameworks we would have to iterate through our to do's array and see whether the id matches and then we could uh, you know unset that particular thing but in vue.js again we have a um, you know helper function which can do the trick for us so we will do this to do's dot gonna remove to do so what it will automatically do is check which one uh, which particular object in the array we are referring to and it will automatically delete it so I don't need the console anymore and let's run the app again all right and I delete and it's gone so you can see it's so easy to set up small small things in Vue.js and get our app running now some of the things uh, which we used to do with maybe angular are like order by as far as I remember order by um, yeah order by I first we will have to create the pipe order by and then I will do title okay and I'll, if I do minus one it will mean let me add a few a to do list to do item b to do item right so if you can see now this is minus one so it is going descending and now if i remove this and refresh again item, it goes to the top b to do item and goes second so yeah we are able to do that and yeah basically the you know, the to do application in a way is ready yeah we know we are not using any service for now but yeah this is how uh, you know uh, this is how simple it is to create a basic to do application i'll continue to create more tutorials on different aspects of vue.js right now this was a very simple thing to do and hence i've used js fiddle i will post the link for this particular js fiddle on the video description below and you can refer to it hope you enjoy the video and um, keep coming back for more videos on vue.js